Good morning. We begin with breaking news here in the valley on this Monday morning. We continue following breaking news. A, f a serious crash overnight on I-70. Let's join News 10's Jordan Kudish, who's live at the scene. Good morning, Jordan. John, we were told that police received a call at around 2 a.m. this morning regarding an accident between a semi truck and a vehicle. Now, while we are here on the scene right now, you'll see behind me that firefighters and police have blocked off the I-70 westbound exit. That's caused quite a bit of congestion out in this area. If you actually take a look, you'll see all the cars that are moving, but they are not going towards the westbound direction. Instead, they are going towards the Terre Haute exit or the Brazil exit. Our photojournalist Devin Ridgeway is giving you a look of what we're seeing right now. You can see that backup of cars just piling up this morning. Now, if you take a look at your screen, you'll actually see what it looked like just a few hours ago, closer to when the accident happened. This is as close as our cameras could get to the scene due to this backed up traffic, which we're still experiencing at this hour. That's the westbound lane of I-70 of the 22 mile marker near the Brazil exit at State Road 59. We can confirm for you right now that one person did die during this crash and that two semis and two commercial vehicles were involved. We can also confirm that an accident reconstructionist has been called to the scene. Now for your morning commute, I would expect any more delays to continue for that the rest of the morning. So keep that in mind if you plan on heading out on the roads and these roads are still blocked off as we know of right now. But we'll continue to stay here on the scene and bring any updates of the accident or opening roads as we learn more. For now, reporting live in Clay County, I'm Jordan Kudish with News 10.